Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with another uh, manga volume review. I'm actually very excited about this one because this is the last uh, volume review of the Promised Neverland. Now, I made that face because the volume itself has not been released, but essentially what I did is I took the quote-unquote formula that they've been using for the rest of the volumes. Uh, so it took nine to ten chapters and figured where would be a good ending to the volume and read up to there. And then I'm considering this one as volume 17. The reason they haven't aired a volume yet, yet is because they just started technically with the 18th volume and they wait a few a few weeks, I guess, before they actually release the official artwork and official cover and all that for volume, uh, for the volumes in Japan. Now, in the U.S., this one won't come out until probably next year. So, um, volume 17 is definitely one you can read online only. So make sure you go to Shonen Jump. Uh, I took again about nine to ten chapters, and that's basically what I'm considering it to be the 17th volume after this one there's only two more chapters and then i'll be currently uh, uh up to current uh chapters of uh the promise neverland guys i'm so excited for that uh the the the, the, the recent uh chapter aired yesterday uh or sorry yesterday to the time that i'm recording so maybe it's about a few days uh ago so anyways i'm excited to see uh what is happening next uh before i continue uh first subscribe to my channel uh thank you for those who have been subscribing and who've been joining in the group uh make sure if you're new uh say hi to me i always love to welcome new subscribers to my channel also if you guys want to um Follow me on social media. That's Anime Reviews 11. Uh, there's also 16 volume reviews on this series. So go watch those as well. And uh, I think that's it. Last and, and uh, last thing is really there is a spoiler alert because I will talk about it in some detail. So uh, last we we dropped off in the in the in the volume before everyone and their mother is was going to the capital. Uh, we have three different groups that are going. Uh, in their separate ways you have norman and the army going uh actually four different groups to be honest uh there's norman and his army uh f from the Z zabda farm i guess called and they're they're off to kind of kill off whoever is left alive because they all there's also a second group of people who's going who's to attack the capital which is the demons that were exiled uh by the queen and uh and the five uh, houses that were left um so he is going back as well to attack him uh, and essentially they're a pawn to to norman he, and, they kind of figured that out. Norman knows it. Everyone knows that they're just a pawn. Uh, the third group is uh, Ray and Emma and a few other guys. Are, they're in horses, so they're on their way to the capital. And then uh, lastly, you have, um, uh, oh gosh, Don and, and Gilda with the, the evil-blooded uh, demons. Uh, and they're on their way, too, to meet up with Emma. So they're all going to the capital. Um, we, let's see, who should I start with first? Uh, let's start with, uh, Emma and Ray. Emma and Ray get there days after the event has started, and, uh, Norman has already started the attacks in the city. Now, a lot of these attacks is to, uh, create confusion and to basically, uh, move the demon guards around the city and uh, leave the uh, the family leaders and the queen uh, wide open, essentially. Uh, so her and Ray are running around trying to find Norman and trying to stop the big commotion as much as possible. It, we learn later on in the volume that the people they come came with, sorry, went back to the hideout because they saw a bunch of uh, demons looking for the hideout so they they went back to protect the kids that are at the hideout um, at the same time uh, Ray and Emma eventually meet up with Gilda and Don in the volume and they they're with the uh, evil blooded and basically they have a moment of you know tear 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 I can't believe you're alive I can't believe you're safe etc etc <laughs> so anyways um, they then um, 
go and look for Norman, and we'll stop there in in that track. The other one is the demons that were exiled. So they they kind of start the volume, and it's it's a gory beginning. Uh, they they kill off basically. I think they kill off every head. Yeah, they do kill off every head member of the five families uh, of the of the the noble the aristocrats. Uh, so. They, they get rid of them pretty fast and they start eating them so they can re regain energy as well. And then they go after the queen. Now, uh, they almost get the queen, but the queen ends up killing all of them. And the queen is about to start eating when then Norman shows up with his henchmen and army and start attacking her. Uh, well, Norman actually does not attack her. Let me bring that back. Uh, his henchmen start attacking her. Uh, we don't see Norman until later on in that in that volume, uh, but he is part of that attack. And essentially, they kill her. Um, in all this, we get some history of how the demons got exiled, why they got exiled. They they find it noble to give food to the uh, the younger. Uh, or sorry, the lower class demons and the upper class demons didn't want that. So they, they basically uh, planted something on them and got them exiled for whatever reason. Um, we also get a little bit of story of how the queen became queen because when the promise was made, it was her father who made the promise. Well, the queen actually ate her family because she thought that they were all stupid. So we get a little bit of insights of background stories of kind of all these characters that we're seeing. Um, how they got into their leadership positions, how they got greedy, how they basically created uh, a class uh, system between themselves where the lower class are not allowed to have anything, are not allowed to have even you know the ability to help uh, each other because they're basically trying to survive, not become uh, the demons, the wild demons they are. So uh, we get a little bit of that political side in this volume as well, but for the most part, it's just action after action. The volume ends with uh, Ray and Emma approaching Norman once the massacre has happened um, and letting him know that there is going back. There is time to... You know, the demons that are left, let them live. They can escape. Emma has made a promise. Now, this is a key point because we don't know yet what the promise is. As she does, she did ask for the kids to go to the to the human world, but we don't, we didn't get what she sacrificed, what the uh, demon lord asked from her. So, as of right now, we don't know what that is. It could be herself. It could be that he asked. Uh, for her to stay behind, uh, I don't know. I don't really don't. I really don't know what the heck is gonna happen. Uh, but it does look like it's in the final chapters, guys. Um, it's pretty much to the end. If if all the leaders are dead, there's not really much there. Now, could it be that they make more out of the story if they don't actually go to the human world, or if they do go to the human world, they may make make more of a story there. But as of right now, it looks like we are in the last chapters. I'm excited. This is probably second to the last volume. The next few chapters I will be reviewing chapter by chapter as they release. Uh, like I said, there's two already out. So I'll review those this week. Uh, I'll be reviewing them as fast as possible for you guys. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and you guys know where I'm at. Um, this is definitely one of the best volumes of the series. It, it just because that's it's kind of a clash of the demons and the humans so it, it has to be a good volume you know I, I expected this to be a, one of the best volumes and it is i don't know if it's the best volume um we still haven't seen the rod tree clan uh where the heck are they i don't know there is quite of uh, unanswered questions still. Um, I've noticed that there are some plot holes. Not plot holes, but stuff that wasn't really concluded that can be concluded. So there is a few things that I'm wondering what the heck is going to happen next. So we'll see what happens in the next few chapters. Uh, and we'll see how far this uh, manga goes. And uh, if you guys have not seen the anime, go watch it. Why are you watching these videos without watching the anime? I don't know why. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you have not done so, subscribe, comment, share, like, do all that fun stuff. Thank you again, like always, for your love and support. And with nothing else to say, 
Strangers. See you guys.